Ah, the next FPL game week has started, so I can just kick back and relax. Oh no, I've been hit by a bus. But what about my FPL team? FPL bus team. What your FPL team currently looks like for the next game week if you were to be hit by a bus right now so you couldn't make any more changes. What's up, your sexy sausages? Bacon Boy here, where I thought I'd be a bit of a cheeky scrub, you know, and bring you my Game Week 12 bus team. This shit busted, as team selection video won't be out for about a year because there's another international break. Boo, international break, boo! <laughs> So now it is bus time. So what we do here is give a very quick browse of how my team is currently lined up for the next week if I got brutally murdered by a bus and couldn't make any changes. And give my initial plans and thoughts on transfers and captaincy next week already before the games happen just to see if any of the games from this week completely spin my jaw and all of my plans completely change. So right now as it stands or as it sits because I'm currently in a chair you know <laughs> this is how Bacon Boy sexy team is currently in. We got the Ramsdale again against the Liverpool, which, yeah, is a bit of a, I like it. Trent and Salah against the English Neuer himself, playing the us. No. Cancelo and Foden against the Wibbly Wobbly Everton. All of the goals incoming for there. It's got to be, right? Reese Jim Jams, who was my transfer in for this week, against the Barking Foxes. Definitely not barking right now, are they? Can he score? Liveramento is 100% starting for me right now, as literally I'd rather burn half of my arm off than go through the pain of his bench points back on my bench. Because even though I've had him in game week one, I've benched half of his points. And he just keeps on getting all the points. I am mad. He's just been an absolute geezer, isn't he? He is starting. Rafinha will be against Conte Spurs, which could be pretty tough. Vardy will be playing against the Chelsea. <coughs> Not for long for me, because I might chuck him in the bin. We'll see. <laughs> and then Antonio against the Wolves. The bench is also looking pretty depthy and goofy, you know, with Foster still playing, I think. How? I don't know. <laughs> Armstrong against the Norwich first on my bench, which, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound too great right now. Maybe I'll have to get the lube out to try and squeeze him in the team, you know, because that... You can't bench that, can you? Duffy will be playing against the Toothless Villa and then best ever player Brownell chilling third on the bench as well. So already, a pretty damn sexy team, you know? And just, like, look at it. We're gonna get all the points proper spankingly good. Oh. But what's even better than that is the fact I actually have two free transfers. How many have I got, Ronaldo? Two! So the transfers I am currently considering right now, or the transfers I think I might look to do before the games have happened this week, include Vardy to Kane, ooh, and then also Rafinha to Jota. Harold Kane has been Harold Payne if you've owned him at any point of the season, but I'm hoping Conte gives him a proper smack to bottom and maybe even a little cheeky finger to make sure he's actually performing, you know? So with their very saucy fixture turnaround coming very soon, he could be the one to go for. And with Vardy against the Chelsea, it's just the perfect time to do an ultimate swap Rooney for all of the points incoming for the Spursy and the Kane. Rafinha has been doing great, but Leeds are just leading all Leeds fans to a season of pain. Like, what are they doing? Less inspiring than an empty fridge right now. Nothing's happening there. So maybe, if it is confirmed, Firmino is a no for a good few amount of weeks, or maybe even a month or so, I think it could be Jota's turn to come into the team, and the fact that I've got so much money in the bank, it means I can do Vardy to Kane, but also I can do Rafinha to Jota as well. And if Firmino's out, he's starting all the games, Amazing, amazing stuff that would be. But to be honest, that Jota move probably could wait a week or two, you know, because Arsenal, not the easiest to fixture, but that is currently what I'm thinking there. Armstrong is also stuck on my bench right now, after I actually decided to keep him this week, and he scores! Hey! See, I'm just the best ever FBL manager, and I. But this week, he will be playing against the Norwich, so an even better fixture. Can I bench him for that? But who do I bench him for? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> so I will have to try and squeeze him in, chuck him in, I think, but no clue who for yet. And let me tell you, I'm definitely, definitely not benching Liveramento from him because I don't think I'm going to bench Liveramento for the rest of my life. He could be a retired 40-year-old Fortnite player for, for all I care. He's still going to be starting for me. I've had enough of these bench points, all right? No, uh, enough of the pain. <laughs> He's going to be my bloody captain. Watch now. It's just going to happen. <laughs> well, that is going to be it for my Gaming 12 bus team. This shit bussing. Short and sweet, just like me, you know, to keep you updated with my thoughts and my team right now. And also remind you that even though we got a bit of a break with the international break, it's good to think ahead before the games have happened so you don't just turn into knee-jerk FC and just get in plays just because they scored points because that doesn't always mean that they're going to score more points later on. So yeah, that sounds good. But anyway, that is going to be it. Thanks for watching and also remember... <laughs> don't be a cheeky scrub. Subscribe to Nathan Bacon right now.
<laughs> Don't let your memes be dreams. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.